Hey guys, this crude amp on my bench is 5F11 clone I've built a couple of years ago. Today I'll show you how to manually measure the frequency response of a tube guitar amp. I'm using an audio generator which is hooked up to the input jack of the amp and the input voltage in millivolts is measured with a digital meter. The output of the amp is connected to the other digital meter set to AC volts and also to the VTV amp for decibel readings. To measure the frequency and monitor the sine wave I'm using a digital scope. To use the VTVM for decibel measurements, I set the output of the audio generator and amplifier in such a way that I get 0 dB reading at 1 kHz on the 0 to 5 volt AC scale on the VTVM. The input signal value turned out to be around 60 mV with the output of around 2.4 volts. For the second reading I've set the frequency to 400 Hz. The input voltage must remain as constant as possible. So every time you change the frequency the input voltage will drift. So you have to adjust the voltage back to 60 mV using the attenuate pot on the audio generator. The dB reading at 400 Hz is around minus 1.2 dB. If we go a bit lower to 100 Hz and adjust the voltage to around 60 mV, which can be fiddly at times, we can see that the output voltage has dropped to 1.5 volts. And if we check the dB scale, it shows around minus 5 dB at 100 Hz. Then we drop to around 78 Hz. The output voltage has dropped to 1.4 and that's minus 6 dB lower than the reference 1 kHz reading. Now these measurements are probably off due to the fact that I didn't set the tone control at the absolute neutral position, so the readings are affected a bit. Also the audio generator does not produce a consistent audio wave at all frequencies. At 59.5 Hz we have a drop of minus 7 dB.
At 45 Hz we get a drop of minus 7.5 dB. The lowest frequency we'll attempt to measure is around 23 Hz. The output drop to around 1 volt, which is minus 10 dB at 23 Hz. This is by no means a perfect test, but it shows a basic principle of measuring the frequency response of your amplifier. There are fancy analog and digital tools out there that will do these measurements automatically, but this way you can learn about the process firsthand and see what the downsides of these measuring methods are. Now that we've measured the frequencies below 1 kHz, let's see how the frequencies above 1 kHz behave. At around 3 kHz, we get plus 0.3 dB. If we switch to 4 kHz, we have the same reading. At 5 kHz we get around plus 0.4 dB. We get the same at 7 kHz as well. At 10 kHz we are back at 0 dB. At 15 kHz we get minus 0.9 dB. At 20 kHz we get minus 1 dB and at 30 kHz we get minus 1.5 dB. If we go around 40 kHz, we have a reading of minus 2.5 dB. When we crank it up to 50 kHz, we are at minus 5 dB. If we go to 60 kHz, the output voltage drops dramatically to minus 30 dB.
Now that we have several measurements at different frequencies, we can plot a crude frequency response curve. You can print a blank graph like this one I found on Google and mark all the measurements you've made. And then just join them together. So at 1 kHz we had 0 dB, at 400 Hz we had minus 1.2 dB. At 100 Hz we had minus 5 dB. At 78 Hz we had minus 6 dB. At 45 Hz we had minus 7.5 dB. Finally at 23 Hz we've had around minus 10 dB. Plus 0 0.3 at 3 and 4 kHz and plus 0 0.4 at 5 kHz and 7 kHz. At 10 kHz we are back to 0 dB. At 20 kHz we are at minus 1 dB and then the curve continues to drop. The template I found only shows up to 30 kHz, but it doesn't really matter for what we are doing here. I know that there are many different methods and approaches to measuring the frequency response of an amplifier, but this one is basic and simple and a good way to start and learn more about the process. Let me know in the comments below if you have any suggestions and share your experience with frequency response measurements with different methods and different equipment used. If you like this kind of videos, please subscribe to my channel, there are many tube projects coming up soon. If you would like to support me and help me create more content, check out my Patreon page in the links below. Thanks for watching.